you want to be seen as a person of value a person of respect and someone that is seen as a high class individual right for us to achieve this particular goal that we have there are certain things that you need to take note of and even take advantage of and so we're going to look at some of these things in today's video you want to stick around so that you do not miss this point hey fam how are you doing today welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is toby actually and here on this channel we'll talk about topics tips and tricks that help us grow fearlessly to the best versions of ourselves if you're interested in videos like that you want to stick around click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here again i hope you enjoyed this video as much as you've enjoyed the other ones Today we're going to be looking at five self-discipline habits to improve your perception, to improve how people see you or how people perceive you to be. Because perception is a very important thing. There are a lot of people that work with the perception that they have about a person. People even have perceptions about you before they actually have a conversation with you. So we want to improve your perception or how people see you in general and just helping you to be a better version of yourself. So we're going to look at these five tips together. Point number one, dress for success. I'm pretty sure you've heard it so many times that you should dress the way you want to be addressed. And this is true in so many ways because a lot of people address people the way they see them as dressed or what they are putting on. The way a person talks to you if you're dressed properly is different from the way they talk to you if you look like you're homeless or you look like you don't have anything doing with your life. It's completely different. Some people even go further by saying that you want to dress for the job that you want to have. And this again is true. So if you expect that you're going to be working in a high corporation, international organization, says you don't want to be dressing like you're going to a uh, shop as a cashier or a seller or anything. You want to dress the way you want people to see you and to respect you because how you dress is a non-verbal communication. You're communicating indirectly the kind of person that you are the kind of things that you can take the kind of life that you live or the kind of life that you want to live and so what you dress or what you put on your body when you're outside when you're being approached by people it says a lot about who you are and the things that you are working towards it gives people the perception of the person that you are or the kind of person that you want to be addressed as and this is very huge when it comes to self-discipline and just working towards being a high-class individual so you want to be intentional about dressing properly dressing in a way that even when you look at yourself in the mirror you're proud of the person that you see you are excited about the person that you're looking to being like or the person that you want to pattern the way you look like a lot of people have vision boards where they just have the kind of dressing that they want to have the kind of visibility that they want to put out there even if they are not in that position and when i say dress for success it doesn't mean that you have to put on all designer outfits from top to bottom it just means that you look clean you look nice you look presentable so you're not wearing torn clothes you're not wearing clothes that have spots on them your clothes or your shirt are properly ironed not wrinkled side eye to whoever needs to get the side eye for ironing clothes you smell nice you look good your hair is kept properly you combed right it is brushed right it is packed right Whatever it is that you need to do that helps you to look like a presentable person, that helps you to look like somebody that is coming out from a house that works and you're going to the street that works or whatever. You just look like a person that is ready for success. That's what you want to work with. If you want to accessorize, make sure that you're accessorizing properly. You don't have red, blue, green on you at the same time, even in the era of color blocking. But you look like a presentable person that is working towards being a successful person. So point number one you want to dress for success number two never get tired of learning and one of the issues that people have with learning is that they think it is restricted to the four walls of the classroom which it is not you can learn in different ways there are professional programs that you can register for there are online programs lots of online programs that you can register for today that helps you to improve in your learning to improve in the things that you know the things that you can know the skills that you have the talents and the knowledge that you have because one thing that you want to make sure that you have is knowledge knowledge is so important you want to make sure that if you're stepping into a room you know at least one or two things about wherever it is that you're stepping into before you're getting there you don't want to get there and they're saying talking about something and you're looking like 
where are we and what planet are we thrown into you want to make sure that you have an idea of what is being said what is being talked about so that means that you're invested in learning you're invested in knowledge now i know that i said that it's not restricted to the four walls of the classroom but sometimes what you need to be perceived as a high class person is that you have an advanced learning or you have an advanced degree or something it doesn't have to be you getting to the point of having a postdoc or a phd or anything it could just be you investing in having a good master's program or adding different professional programs that are recognized in the field that you're in or the field that you want to go into but you don't want to restrict what you know or the education level that you have to just basic knowledge you want to make sure that there is something else that is added to the basics that you already have you want to make sure that you know more than the average person knows in the field that you're going into so invest in learning so many options for you you can watch as many things on coursera on udemy on so many platforms i think there's one called allison there are so many platforms that you can learn on you can invest your time and skills and some of them are even free you just have to pay for the certificate or certification but you want to make sure that you're investing in the things that you need to invest in number three improve your communication skills so i stole this from somebody but they did say that some people their brains work faster than their mouth and for some people their mouth works faster than their brain so that means that some people talk faster than they think and some people think faster than they talk it is very important for you to know what category you fall into and then start to improve on that so do you think faster than you talk or do you talk faster than you think whichever one it is there is a clause or there is a flaw in either one you just need to make sure that you know exactly what you need to then do to process it for some people we have to take notes so that we are able to articulate the way we are thinking so that we're not saying rubbish when we decide to come out and say whatever it is we want to say some people like to think as they are talking which one is it that you are make sure that you know that one of my favorite orators of all time is barack obama and i like barack obama a lot because when he was running his campaigns when he's giving his speeches or when he's saying giving his campaign speeches or stories or anything that he was saying he reduced or he barely had sigh moments he barely had periods where he would take a long um or a, and when he's giving his speeches just because before he gets to that point he takes a pause instead of saying whatever catchphrase or whatever he puts into his statement that makes it sound like you don't know what you're saying so when you're speaking and all you have to be saying is and and then and then and then and then it kind of makes people to lose trail of what you're saying there's somebody that does that a lot and when he's speaking i basically forget what he's saying because i hear a lot of side comments in it another person that i like is michelle obama obviously because michelle obama talks faster than barack obama but she also doesn't use catchphrases because instead of that what she does is she explains whatever it is that she's trying to say so while barack obama doesn't use feeling words when he's making his statements Michelle Obama uses fill in words, but she uses fill in words that blends in with whatever speech or talk she's giving. So they are very easy to miss the fill in words when they are used in it. These two people know exactly how they speak and they would even insult themselves on how they speak. Michelle says all the time that Barack talks so slowly and Barack says Michelle talks too fast. But the two of them are great orators. They give good speeches that when they are speaking, a lot of people want to listen to them and hear what they have to say. So for you to be a good communicator, you want to understand yourself and how you say the things that you need to say, how you talk and how people hear you as well. You talk way too fast, you talk too slowly. What are the feeling words that you use? And do you need to use these feeling words when you're making your statements? Can you take a pause instead of putting a long sigh in the sentence that you're trying to make? You want to look at this and speak properly, communicate very clearly. Number four, you want to build good connections. And the interesting thing about this is that we have a lot of opportunities every day to build good connections. You can build good connections at school, at work, on the street, anywhere that you find yourself. When you go for conferences, seminars, wherever it is that you do, you can build good connections. Because very quickly you realize that people are the people that matter lack of better words yes people matter in life you cannot do life alone you are going to have to do life with somebody if you want to establish a great business you're going to piggy bank on people's ideas people's stories people's help you need help to do the things that you need to do so you cannot do it alone and for you to do this you need to build the right connection 
one of the things that i learned from my dad is that school is not just a place for you to go and learn and get great results or good results from school you also build good connections because when you're looking at it in the next what 10 years 15 years 20 years or more or even less the people that you're going to see on the same platforms as you are if you're going to be a great person are also going to be people that you probably went to school with maybe not in the same school but you're going to be in the same age range so you see people in their 50s all being successful that means that they were all in the same age group they probably had things that they did together they had um sports club they had classes they had lessons that they were part of together so you want to build good connections with the people that you have in your space as well as people that are above you or people that are younger than you it is very important for you to do this build good connections and i'm saying this i'm also talking to myself because that is one thing that i need to work on too of course it goes without saying that if you're going to be building good connections with people that means that you are a person that other people want to build good connections with so if you are a nasty person nobody wants to build a connection with any nasty person so you want to make sure that you are a presentable person someone that people look to have a good relationship with build connections with and the things that you want to see in the person you want to have a relationship with you want to make sure that you also have it it kind of makes it easy for you to approach people when you are exactly what they need to have in their lives too and as daunting as it may seem when it comes to building connections or talking to people it could even just start with having a receptive smile somebody is approaching you and you have a smile on your face you can say hello you can give a good compliment it does not have to be you saying here is my business card and this is what i do or anything it could be you giving a side comment on something that's happened around them or you genuinely find a common interest and you start to talk on it there are easy ways to build connections with people but the important thing is that if you're going to be perceived as a disciplined and a successful high class person you want to make sure that you have the ability to build good connections point number five you want to be a positive person trust me we can smell negativity from a distance we can smell it we can see it it is very clear obvious and just there if you're a negative person it is very easily seen kind of hard to miss so you want to be a positive person you want to be somebody that you everything you think about has to be linked to positivity even if it is not going in the way that you want it to go right now you're not being negative about it a positive person is able to see ways out of problems rather than sitting down in the problem and just being a potato bag being a positive person also helps you to be a person that thinks solution you always have a solution to something because you're not just dwelling in the bad sides of what is going on you're able to feel bad when you need to feel bad but you don't dwell in feeling bad because you know that you need to come up with a good plan that is going to help you to see the results that you want to see a positive person has a gratitude mindset as well you are not always thinking that somebody is out to get you if things are not working out it's not like somebody is doing it from one village or somebody is uh, aiming attacks at you or anything you're able to just be positive about whatever it is that is going on because you know that if you have a positive mindset then you're more able or you have better capacity or ability to work towards being a successful person you cannot be a successful person and be negative a negative person always sees the bad sides of something a successful person does not see the bad side of something they just work towards being the success that they want to have and you cannot be successful if you're negative you have to be a positive person yes so these are five self-discipline habits that would help you to change your perception or how people see you how people perceive you to be and help you to also change your perception about yourself if you begin to implement these things you begin to see the changes that you want to see in your life and that helps people to see it as well i hope that this video helped you please let me know in the comment section if you learned anything do not forget to share with your friends and family and do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section thank you so much give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one till next time bye